Hi everyone, David Maley here. Today I'm going to show you an all trick, something really cool. Basically, I uh, had a uh, person on a online forum on Reddit was asking me how to do, or was asking everybody in a uh, forum on all tricks, um, how to do a uh, column that gives you a percent of total. So what they wanted was something where they have a column where you're late, yes or no, and then the next column next to it, or a column further down, would tell them, here is the percent of the total from that column. So what I want to show you here is if I take this, this is buy here, pay here data. So this is buy here, pay here, like car loans. And this shows you the data right here. Customer ID, weekly payment, remaining payments, remaining balance, last uh, payment date, were they late? So this is what they were looking for, you know, no, yes, no, yes. Um, their last payment, the week number of their last payment has here. So they paid in the 10th was the last week, the third, the third week of the year, so on. And uh, payments missed, if they had payments missed, some did, some did not. Late fees associated with those payments and amount owed. Okay, so if they had late fees, you know, how many were they? It's weekly, so they get charged a weekly fee. I believe it's $49 in here. So uh, they could have a lot of money owed quickly because they, pay, they make weekly payments uh, at, at this car dealership that does buy here, pay here. So what we're doing is you take this, and what I want to do is in the end, I want to show you a account of how many people um, had amounts owed, how many did not, and then I want to show you this data right here, and I want to show you a new column. So we've got late is right here. It could be yes, it could be no, okay. But what I want to do, this is for the true. So if they're not late, they wouldn't have this. So what I want to see is this column right here. There it is, percent amount owed. How much did they owe out of the percent total? That's what this person's looking for. So this right up here, what I've got is I first start this data when it comes in, as you saw it, has dollar signs and commas in it. So if you try and summarize or add that column up, it won't do it. It'll just give you nulls. And uh, let me see if I actually have a column here that can show you that. I think I have it in here somewhere where it has all nulls in it. And the reason why, right there, is because you cannot add in Alteryx something that has dollar signs and commas and other things that you have to remove those first. So let's go back here. And so what we're going to do stepwise is first you got the input box. You got to input your data. This is a CSV. That's what they wanted to see. Next, what we have is a formula. This formula is two number and it replaces the amount owed, uh, the dollar sign, and the comma with space instead. It gets rid of that. And then what we do is we take that and we go over here and we take both the amount owed in both of these fields and make them fixed decimals. That's what the select tool is. Now we have to parse out our data. So what we do is we've got one which summarizes it, okay, and this gives us our total, our column total. So what we did, if you look at the, uh, when I click on this, I only have one box selected. I brought down the amount owed, okay, this one right here is a fixed decimal, and I summarized it, and that gives me the column total. Now, next what I'm going to do is an append tool. So this append tool is up here in the joins and it's uh, right there. It's the first one in there. The ears might be set up differently if you, you can move them around and stuff depending on your setting, but it should be in the joins. If not, go into the search box and look for a pen tool. This is it. And basically with the append tool, what I'm doing is I'm just taking this data and appending it to that. So it's appending it as a column. And what we have at the end is this. So right now, I don't have the percent total. What I've appended is the actual total from here to that value to each row. So that's what this has done. So now we have a new column called sum of amount owed. Then what I'm going to do is I need to do this, and I need to calculate in a new column the percent amount owed. So what I have to do is i got to take that column and say, okay, I want the amount owed, which is this value, and I want to divide that by this value times 100, which gives me the percentage of it. 
So if there's a value in there, it's going to give me a number. And so what happens is when this is done, it goes down here and you've got this. So it'll either give me 0.00, .00 if there's no amount owed, or it'll give me like a 2.57%, 1.24%. This is percent. So if I took this out of here and exported it to an Excel sheet, I would just go and make that so it says percent in it. Um, so next, out of this, I want to go a little bit beyond that, and I want to say, okay, well, what did they owe money or not? So is the amount, as you can see in this uh, filter, I'm doing percent amount owed where it's not equal to zero. So up here, true is they owed money. False means they did not. So the amount of people that did not owe any money is 51. So I put a summarize there, and it's only got one field on the count of customer ID. So it's going to count the, all the people that did not owe any money. The one above it does the same thing, but the opposite. So it's a count on customer ID, but it's for the true versus false. So what that means, these people owed money. So that's about right for a buy here, pay here, that 64 people were behind on their payments and 51 were not. So you got a little bit more... Uh, maybe 60% that owe money and are behind by one payment or more and, you know, 40% that are not. That's roughly about what it is. Then I want to take a look at further. I want to see more of it. Now, I could go and take this data. You can see it here and see it down here. But if I want to see it, you're really supposed to use this browse field. And then it gives you that and gives you a little bit more of your data if you want. But that, you know, it doesn't matter. You don't need that tool. This sum right here. What I did was I used a couple more fields. And as you can see here, I have payments missed. I want it grouped by that. I have customer ID count. I have late fees grouped by amount owed sum and percent amount owed sum. Now you can't summarize these if they are in string. So make sure that they are, you know, look at your fields here and see how they're fixed decimal. If they were strings, they would not be. They, I, when I click on this add, it won't give me the sum for it. If I pick something that's a uh, uh, V string, it'll be grayed out. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to see it. This is what we've got right here payments missed, customer ID, late fees, amount owed, and percent amount owed. And this breakout, what it does, it says, okay, I can now look at this group of customers, which is, what do we say, 60 of them? Uh, 64 of them. I can look at the 64 and further break them down and say, uh, out of this, I have people that missed one payment, two payments, three payments, four, five, all the way to eight, right? If they missed nine payments, this was done for March, then we're, they wouldn't be in there. It would have been, we cut off on the first of the year, so that would be someone from December for them to miss that. This was this is March 2018 data, so for them to be late, they have to miss the payment prior to the cutoff, which is week nine. We don't count them late yet if they're in the month of March. This is for the month of March. So... Based on this data, I can see the breakout of how many people relate by each amount. So it goes, it's high for one payment missed, which is normal. Then it goes back down again because people start seeing, they get start to have late fees and stuff. Then it goes back up again, and then it goes back down again. And you have this spot here where you want to identify these people quick and get them to start getting their payments in because obviously if you don't, you know, you could have a, you're know, you going to have a lot of money owed. So what we do with this is you've got their late fees. You can see how their late fees go up. Okay. You can see how the sum of the amount owed goes really high right here. There's your sweet spot right there. You don't want to have, you want to address those people um, because that's where a lot of money owed is sitting. And then you can see here, see here the uh, sum percent amount owed. Again, by breaking it out by that, I can see the percentage of the breakout in each. This is where it gets really interesting to be able to do this. So you can actually, I could take this and graph this now in Excel or through Alteryx or whatever I want to do. And I could see the breakdown of the percentages of these different groups. And I could actually look into them more and see if there's some behavior patterns that we, we could identify, maybe do a customer segmentation here, whatever it is I want to do, and see if we can do something to try and get these people to pay, you know, to to remind them better, to give them more mailings maybe. Maybe mailings aren't effective on these people down here. Maybe they need a phone call. Maybe phone calls aren't effective and they need mailing. We can tr use our data to figure that out, which is really cool. But so when you look at this, here's the breakdown of the percent of the amount owed. So we definitely want to hit this group right here. They're the biggest percentage right there with five payments missed. That means they missed five weeks of payments. And uh, but basically, this is a cool way of looking at this in Alteryx and a cool way of going through and breaking out your data 
and finding a column. So here we have the late column, right? As we started here, we started with this data. We have the late column of no, yes, no, they're late, they're not. And what we did was we went over here. And I, to walk you through it again, you have to go, because in this case we were using money, uh, currency columns, we don't want the dollar sign and the comma. We want the dot, the, the decimal point is fine, but the other two is not. So they need to be removed. That's what this formula right here was. And you enter this in, two number, parentheses replace, parentheses replace, the amount owed, that's the field. You're replacing the dollar sign with nothing. You're replacing the comma with nothing. Not really a space, but it's just a, uh, you know, the two quotes right there. And uh, once you do that, the data will pass through here. Then what we want to do is we want to change them to be fixed decimal 20.2. You could have 19.2. It doesn't matter um, unless you have big numbers, big sales, and then we might have to increase that. So once we have that, we can summarize by that. Next, what we do is we break it out. We have a summary here that does amount owed and does the sum of it. And then we add it back together with an append to put that. We're not adding it in as a row. We're adding it in to each row instead at the end so right here you can see at the end it's the sum of amount owed then we have a formula again right here to go and calculate the percentage and put in its own column percent amount owed and then what we do what we're doing here is um, breaking out the percent amount owed you know do they have payments owed or do they not so not it's down here do they yes they're up here we get the count of each to make sure that's like a quick check is this correct? How many do we have? We can quickly tell our, our uh, uh, somebody if they want to know this, hey, you know, you got 52 people, you got 64 people that owe money, 50 whatever it was that don't. Then what we wanted to do is take this tool again right here, the summarize tool in this way. We break it all down by payments missed, customer ID, count. I'll make sure you pick count, okay, to get you the right number here, not sum. Okay, late fees, group by, amount owed, sum percent amount owed sum and what this does it gives you the complete breakdown of each payment miss so if the group of people that missed one there's ten of them there's for the group of people that missed two there's eight three two of them missed it four for the that missed four payments ten and so on and you can see the breakdown of the late fees the sum of the amount owed and uh, the percent of the sum amount owed so that's really cool. So in all these cases, and then you can go back here if you just want to get the uh, columns of the amount owed. And if you want to get it before that with the zeros in there, you can do that right here. So you just click on this right arrow on each of these to get that. So at this point, we have that column with the percent amount owed. At this point, we have it with the zeros removed because they're the, they would be down here. They have no, nothing owed. And then again, we broke it down completely right here. So you, this is a cool way to do this. Again, it uses the append tool, summarize, and this is how you would go and take a column and get the total of it and then get the percent total in a new column. Thanks again for watching. Uh, please, please subscribe and like, and please check out my other uh, videos on my channel. You'll like all of them. They've got a lot of data science, data analysis, all tricks, all kinds of cool stuff on there for you. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.